G'day everyone, I'm glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember we're taking a look at Math Rescue. Released in 1992, developed by Redwood Games and published by Apogee Software, this one is basically a successor to Word Rescue which I reviewed previously. It was one of my first videos actually, don't watch it, it's probably horrible. Who am I kidding? I'll probably put a link to it. Ha ha ha. This is, uh, yeah, basically a word rescue successor, but with maths! Yay. My god, I hate maths so much. Fancy f Wait, what can I do capital letters? Fancy fell. Wah, fancy fell. Fuck it. Alright, I'll be the guy. Difficulty. Let's do as easy as possible because... Who am I kidding? No kid ever played this for the actual maths. Let's skip the word problems, because they're always annoying. A bone-chilling crisis has struck the world. Reports are pouring in from all corners of the globe. Missing numbers. Numbers were missing from speed limit signs, and the frantic highway patrolmen couldn't stop speeders. On Wall Street, stockbrokers were throwing up their hands in despair. The Dow Jones wasn't down, and it wasn't up. It was gone. Wow, Dow Jones. How thrilling to a child. Your own mother has closed herself in the bathroom and won't come out because her paycheck is inexplicably blank. Oh my god, mom, get your shit together. You start to call your best friend, but the buttons on your phone are blank, and you can't remember your friend's number. Where will it end? Glancing out the window, you suddenly freeze with horror. A creature that looks like a giant nose with arms is standing in your driveway. It's stealing the numbers off your street address and loading them into a robot-controlled garbage truck. Speechless with a shock and rage, you point a quivering finger. Before you can say mystic intervention, a huge butterfly appears in the air and dumps a bucket of slime on the nose. In a flash, the nose disappears. You have discovered the secret to stopping the number stealers. Oh my god, so much story. Grabbing a nearby garbage can lid for protection and hoping the butterfly will continue to help you, you embark on your mission to recover the stolen numbers and outwit the mysterious aliens. Yes, the fate of the world as we know it is in your hands. Oh, god damn. Alright, let's get into this. Story, hell no, we saw the story, let's just do this. Level 1, you follow the Gruzzles under the sea. Alright, here we are in Math Rescue. And uh, yeah, it's like Word Rescue, but a little prettier and a bit faster and a bit funner. And the uh, objective here is to solve all the math problems. You jump into these numbers here, 8 plus 2, and then you uh, jump and hit the corresponding numbers to do the answer stuff, and you can collect watermelons on the way. You see a scary looking X, you press the space bar. And there's these garbage trucks as well, the robot controlled garbage trucks. Uh, you see there's a little math problem at the bottom of the screen, 3 plus 9. You have to walk into the garbage truck that corresponds with uh, that, uh, you know. So basically 12, so you can hit this one. Great, you earn bonus points by exploding the garbage truck which matched the problem at the bottom of the screen. Hooray! If you hit the wrong one, uh, you lose a shield. I mean, garbage lid. And I think if you run out of them, you die or something. Well, not die, but restart. There's no death in Math Rescue. You gotta get all them ice creams and sailboats, and there's a little springy guy. I'll get rid of you. Get rid of get some tasty watermelons. I don't know what these are. I think they're crayons. Let's get some crayons. 8 plus 2. Wow. And uh, yeah, I have fond memories of this. I played it a lot when I was young. A lot of us kids did. 7 plus 8. Good, good, good. Uh, we uh, really, really love this game because of the pretty graphics. Are you sure you don't want to collect the numbers in order from 0 through 9? You might find it rewarding. You don't know me. I would not find that rewarding. What's 8 plus 9? I'm terrible at maths. It is 17, right? Yeah, good, good, good. I'm going to be very embarrassed and humbled at some point in this video. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, as I was saying, we used to play this game a lot and we loved the hell out of it. Me and my schoolyard chums. But uh, not because of the math, hell no, we just, uh, I think we actually found a way to get through it. Either without doing the math problems or just by doing the very, very basic ones like I'm doing because no kid actually wants to do math. So we just want to jump around and have fun and explore all the stuff and see the fishes. And uh, yeah, because uh, this game is quite pretty and it runs fast and it's got pretty pretty banging music. Let me turn this music up for a second and I'll be quiet. Wait, I said I'd shut up, didn't I? Sorry. Okay, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> I like it anyway. 9 plus 5. What's that, 14? 
Yes, 14. Maths is really not my strong suit. I was always the kind of uh, uh, English guy. The language guy, the grammar and the spelling and the kind of stuff that people seem to not respect these days. I don't know, if you're good at spelling in English <clears throat> and grammar, no one respects you. You just get called a grammar Nazi. You're a grammar Nazi. It's like, no, motherfucker. I know English. Do you? No. Oh, so that's why, that's why you call me a Nazi? To make yourself feel better? Like, piss off. Sorry, I'm ranting a little bit. Secret areas, 50%, problem solved, 10, extra problems, Liz collective goodies, bonus awards, time, 4 minutes, blah blah blah. You can do a bonus round if you want, but screw that because it involves math. Replay the last level, are you kidding? No, no, not replay the last level. I'm going to put in a little cheat code here. If you hold down P, A, and A, M, I don't know why it's Pam, and you press a number on the keyboard, you can choose a level from 1 to 9, I think. Let's go to Neptune, no, let's not go to Neptune's world, because it's too samey. Let's go to Volcano, whoa. Always like this level, because the backgrounds. Isn't it pretty, look at all them big threatening volcanoes and the smoke, and I don't know, we were a lot more imaginative back in those days. It's funny that, you know, the older generation kind of always talks crap about the younger generation. I mean, I'm only 24, but uh, I'm kind of prattling on about how, oh, we had better imaginations back then. We were more impressed by these kinds of graphics and like, generation above me is like, oh, we didn't have video games, we played with sticks. I don't know. There's going to be like another generation after this one. It's like, when I grew up, all we had was Call of Duty and... and and Battlefield, and that was fine enough for us. We didn't need all this fancy virtual reality stuff or integrated realities. Do you know what I'm talking about? Am I talking total garbage right now? Possibly. I'm pretty good at that. Pretty good. It's one of my fortes, if you could say. My forte is talking absolute garbage. 4 plus 7, that's 11. So yeah, if I haven't made myself very clear, you have to solve the problems which give you pieces of a key and when you get the key you can open the door and uh, that's about it. I've got a score at the top middle there on the top left. That's how much slime I have. Slime is what I use to get those uh, gruzzles which are the enemies. Just hit spacebar to dump a bunch of crap on them and they are dealt with. Have I got anything else? No, just a shield meter and ah, there's not much to talk about with this game. I'm trying my- wait, is this 12 or- yeah, it's 12. <laughs> oh, I haven't failed yet. I've spent a bit too long thinking about some problems, but I haven't got any wrong. So that's good. I'm not horrible, horrible at maths, but I'm pretty bad. Oh, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to hit that. 7 plus 6. I don't need to be nervous about making a fool of myself. This is my channel. You wanna- you wanna make fun of me? Then fine. Well, whatever. I don't care what, what you say. Be nice to me. This is my channel. I'll, I'll, I'll say what I want and fail at math problems all goddamn day if I want, alright? Stop judging me! Stop judging me! Stop! 8 plus 2, 1, 0, yeah! Oh, we've got the key. Alright, let's just get to the end of this level. Whoa! And there we go! That's the door. Let's have a look at the final, final level before I end this video because let's be honest, we've covered everything. We've covered it all, we've covered it all, we've seen everything. Uh, 9 I think. The volcano in spring. Oh, okay, so the final level is like pretty much just a total rehash. But there's flowers everywhere instead of a pissed off volcano. Well, alright. I don't know how educational this game is, but it is arguably more educational than um, Word Rescue. Because Word Rescue, all you had to do is prove that you knew what a picture was. Like if there's a picture of a toothbrush, you have to go, ah. Oh. Uh, I think it's a toothbrush and find the pitch, picture of the toothbrush. Uh, I don't know. Does that make sense? You find the picture of the toothbrush. No, you find a word. Yeah, it gives you a word. It gives you a word. It tells you toothbrush and you have to read it and find the picture. Like, I think that's a bit more basic than, than solving math problems because you can make them harder than this. So yeah, if you want to educate your children, Get a math rescue, you'll only be like 20 years late. Wait, how, what year is this? No, more than 20 years. 23 years late. Get a math rescue and they will get, kick you in the crotch because they'll be pissed off and entitled little shits about, I want to play Minecraft. Like, no, you little shit. 
You're playing Math Rescue, and you're gonna enjoy every minute of it, damn it. <laughs> hey everybody, thanks so much for watching, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Please remember to click that like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you want to see more randomness in old games. Oh my god, I love me some DOS games. I'll see you next time, everybody, and hey, keep it fancy.